I'm not going to get all snobby about camera bags. Use whatever you like. I mean, use a potato sack if that works best for you. But after going to Billingham, I've never been back. I remember a time when I was living in Hong Kong, when I was single, obviously, I used to go to a camera shop called Tin Chung, like every Saturday or Sunday, just to check out stuff. Cameras, lenses, and camera bags. And that's where I saw Billingham bags. That's where I learned that's a British bag. I mean, just look at it. It's ever so British. It couldn't get more British unless it's made of tweed. They did actually do some tweed limited editions at one point. I remember thinking, how cool is this bag? It's British and it looks unlike any other camera bag. It can't be mistaken for any other camera bag. And from that moment, that was the camera bag that I lusted after. God knows how I'm not still single. Of course, the uniqueness and the Britishness were something that really appealed to me, but it was the quantity and the fact that they're just better functioning bags when you're taking photos. You get camera bags that are made to do a good job of transporting your gear from one point to another, but not necessarily good when you want to take your camera out between those two points, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's have the burger more about this bag, which I think is Billingham's most robust, versatile camera bag. Just so you know, you know, this video is in fact sponsored by Squarespace. There we go. There really are two kinds of Britishness. One is Union Jack underpants, and two is just quietly exuding Britishness. And that's what this is. Just quietly beavering away, doing what it is they specialise in, and doing it really rather well. No fuss, no fanfare, no big social media campaign. If you've got one, then you know exactly why they are so damn good. If you know, you know. And if you don't, just look at that leather trim, brass finishing and stitching. It's like a luxury product. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, badass build quality from Billingham with the Aventa. And just check out the amount of leather there is. All hard leather as well, not thin leather. I mean, you could swing this around, fend off all the thieves, smack them in the faces. And it's used more leather then the first eventer, well, right here under the handle. Yeah, it is British, so don't expect it to be massively different from the first one. But if you look on the flap here, that's also different, mainly an aesthetic change. No more strip here, clean. It comes available in either canvas or fibonite. Fibonite, perhaps more durable, but canvas will wear quite nicely over the years. This rather fetching blue one is canvas. You can get the khaki in canvas or fiber night. Sage, the green one, or black, is only in fiber night. So if you're on canvas, blue or khaki. Right, let's unpack some gear and get ready to shoot some stuff and show you how much stuff I could put in this bag. Okay, all right, so drone, two lenses, microphone, Filter box, full frame camera, DSLR with lens on, and a monitor. Now the interesting thing is that you've got a double fastening system, one for the top flap here, and another one for the pockets, which are roomy enough to put a kid in, in each pocket. Now, this is perhaps Billingham's most beefy bag. It's a big boy. But the, way, the reason why it's versatile is because, I mean, partly because of the look. It doesn't necessarily look like Karen bag. You know, you could probably take this to an interview if you really wanted to. It's a little bit big. It's quite posh looking, isn't it? It strikes a fine balance between smart and casual. I mean, you could use this as a business bag quite easily. You know, here I am pretending to do some business in a field. But it's not just about the look, of course, in terms of function. Obviously, you can take the insert out. There's a nice brown insert that you get with the blue version. The other ones are the regular green inserts. You can take the insert out. It can also be used to carry a 13, 14 inch MacBook. It's got the slot here in the back padded slot so yeah it doesn't really have to be just for your camera gear but that's what I'm using it for today I mean at first I was a little bit worried that it might look a bit too a bit too formal to be taking out in the field but it's all right I think it's cool 
Because another thing is that this has got a zip on it. So you've got double security. I mean, generally I don't tend to choose zips for carrying bags because, you know, zips might scratch things. But it opens wide enough, like so, that you don't have to worry about scratching the camera when you pull out of the bag. Because it's got a big mouth, like that. So you can just whip the camera out, in and out, whip it. Shit. <laughs> it's probably whipped out now. So there we go. Top tips, don't keep whipping something in and out. Either have it in or out. Always that happens. One day it will fall off. <laughs> My God. Oh dear. So yeah. Yeah, so you can quite easily whip it out without it running along the zips. So I tend to put the small items in the front pockets. So SD card holder, um, color checker, gray card thing right there and batteries put the batteries in there one thing is that this is perhaps a little bit larger than i'd go for when taking photos i don't want anything too big i just carry just enough but you know if you're packing more stuff this is it so it goes for more space in there but you can't add pouches where well, it doesn't have the little holes here it opts for more space in the bag itself rather than adding pouches on you can't add the pouches on the side like some of the bags although you can put them on the strap if you really need to the strap isn't detachable but it does have on the back well it's got a pocket here for documents and the luggage strap on the back put on your suitcase for when you go on international travel when you can go on international travel Obviously there's lots of options when it comes to building and bags and Hadley really is the go-to bag. But this, I mean, in terms of build quality, this is gonna last a long time with that thick lever on the bottom. Whatever it is that got me hooked onto building and bags in the first place, this is like taking it up to another level. Oh, and just before we go, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video is Squarespace. If you want to set up your own website, domain, or online store, you should check them out because they make it super easy to get started with a plethora of templates and 24 7 customer service. You can get started with a free trial today, and there's 10% off your first order with this very special discount code in the description box below.